Hey guys, Jessie from Through This Together, the site that helps you look fabulous on a budget and in a hurry with items that you already have in your own closet. This week, I talked about three different ways to cover up your swimsuit in the summer. So whether you are going to a barbecue, a pool party, or at a resort, we've got you covered. But when I posted the article, I saw a ton of comments from my friends and my family about people that had sarongs, which are one of the options. And they're like, you know what, I have the sarong, but I have no idea how to tie it. And when I bought it, the person told me that I would have a million different ways to wear this, and then it just sits there. So today we're talking about seven different ways you can wear your sarong so it can come out of retirement. This is my sarong. It comes in, sarongs come in all different shapes, sizes, colors, opacities. This one, as you can see, is pretty sheer, but it is so stinking wide, which is great because you can wrap it and do a whole lot of different things with it. The first way we're gonna do it is like a halter cowl neck dress. I'm gonna take the shorter end and I'm gonna tie a loop from end to end, again, on the short end. So the long one is hanging way down. I'm gonna double knot this loop very simple, it doesn't need to be pretty, you're not really gonna see it. You're gonna hang that around your neck, you can kind of play with the neck there, and then um, you probably can't see here, but it's too long for me at this point, so I'm gonna take it from about here and I'm gonna fold it, and I'm gonna take that folded end and I'm gonna tie it around my waist, and then I'm just gonna double knot the back here the same way I double knotted around the neck. Uh, one thing that's really helpful if you are trying different ways to wear a sarong is a friend in close proximity that can tie these knots for you because seeing it sight unseen, as you can see, is not the easiest. Okay, so here is your first way. Again, adorable. Look at this, cinching in at the waist. I love it, I gave some extra coverage, but you don't really need that. You can judge it if you want to. And then it ties, so I have a tube dress on for demonstration, but you can wear it with your bikini or nothing. Well, I guess you can wear it with nothing, but if your sarong is not see-through like mine, you could definitely get away with it. Um, be cautious, obviously, uh, a little peekaboo in the back, but otherwise, this is way number one. The second way we are going to tie the sarong is a cross front short dress. So I went ahead and put my hair up because there's gonna be a tie behind my neck that I want you guys to be able to see. But you take your long way and you wrap it around the back, kind of like you're getting out of the shower and dry off. And you're going to take the ends and cross that sucker right in the front. Ah, again, this is why it's helpful to have a friend. But right now, it's just me, but we'll make do. So you cross it around the front and then you're gonna take those two ends and tie it behind your neck. And you're gonna wanna tie it fairly tight, otherwise the front will be kind of saggy and nobody wants that. So once we've tied it around the front, you can see that really great cross front detail. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that that's covered so I get full um, front and I really can't see anything through it. Um, back's another story, but it's neither here nor there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the back so you don't need to work with just corners when you're tying a sarong i think that was like my first mistake when i was trying to figure it out but you can see there's a lot of material here so i'm going to just grab it and kind of create like my own little end and then i'm going to take this which also has a little bit of an end and i'm going to tie it once around again this is how it helps have a friend because we're going to get real in there and then really tiny let's see can I do it? Oh yeah, I did it. So from there, you just kind of flip it around so it works for you, but look how stinking cute that is. Full coverage. If you know, if you had a lot of sun and you're like, oh my gosh, my chest just can't get any more sun today, go ahead and wrap your sarong up, give yourself coverage, and that way you still can get some color in your shoulder if you'd like. And then of course, the back is completely open this way. The next way to wear your sarong is called the harem pant jumpsuit. Definitely out of the box, but now that I've been trying this a few times, I can definitely see myself wearing it out and about because it's comfortable. You don't have to worry about billowing everywhere, which is fabulous sometimes, but not always. So you're gonna take the, so the long way, okay? And take your short way and you're gonna tie it around and I'm gonna flip it. So just, I can't, like I said, I don't have a friend. So I'm doing it on my own. So I'm gonna tie it in the front first and make sure I see it. So right around your bust line, just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and then flip it. 
And there's a lot of fabric here, so you're gonna flip all of it around just so it's centered on your back, butterflying open that way. And then from here, here's where it gets kind of weird. So you have all this fabulous fabric. You're gonna go ahead and spread your legs apart and you are gonna swoop it. Swoop it right through your leg. I know, it's super weird. Stay with me, I promise it's worth it. The payoff is very good. So here is the ends here. And we're gonna take it and we are gonna cinch the heck out of our waist with it. Cinch, cinch, cinch. Yeah, buddy. And then just kind of look at all the fabric there. So you still get like a little bit of space on both legs. And again, you'd probably wear this with a bathing suit so you wouldn't have um, your dress hanging out of it. Obviously, it doesn't make a lot of sense right now. Um, but again, look how stinking cute. I was blown away. I wanted to be a hater on it. And then, oh my gosh, the back is adorable. The way it kind of has that cute little triangle cut out. I love it. I'm shocked. What do you guys think? Would you wear that this way? And that way, again, like I said, when you're walking through the beach you don't have, and you have your bags, you don't have to worry about showing the world all your goodies before you want to have that grand reveal of your swimsuit. The fourth way to wear your sarong is what I'm calling your toga dress. So you're going to take, again, the short end, so your long one is hanging down, and you're going to take it around your body, and that was a really weird way to do it, and you're going to tie the top two corners up over your shoulder like a goddess, the goddess that you are. And don't worry about this knot, you can redo it later. We just need it here to get started. So just like we did with uh, the first way, we're gonna take the fabric underneath and we're gonna kind of hike that up to a place where you're comfortable with. And you're gonna take the gathered fabric here, the gathered fabric here, and tie it right at your natural waist, cinch that around. And then again, you can play with it from there. So I don't really want that to be super saggy there, um, but to each their own, sometimes that's a look, not my favorite. So I'm gonna tighten this shoulder strap up now that I have the waist in place, just so it gives it a little more shape. So again, tie that up. And I kind of like that they're kind of fluffy that way versus little nubs. In there, and one more knot. I'm sure this flattering angle of me looking down. And, oh, look how cute. So yeah, very Grecian. Um, so if you don't want your leg hanging out straight up in the front, you can go ahead and put it right on the side there. Or if you do, just cheat that little knot right around. And then voila, all you need is a fan and your Angelina Jolie pretty much. So that is your basic long toga dress. The fifth way to wear a sarong isn't a dress, it's something a little different. So I took my sarong and I folded it in half from the long way, so I guess that would be hamburger way, if you learned it that way, hamburger versus hot dog. So I have it in half, and I'm gonna go ahead, and that's my raw edge side, perfect. I'm going to take one of my folded corners and one of my raw corners, and I'm just gonna tie it in a little knot, and I wanna leave a ton of space in the hole there. So even though I want my knot to be tight, I don't want to close that circle. So there's the first one. And then we're gonna take again, here's the two raw edges, the raw corner, and here's the folded corner. And then, same deal. Don't wanna close it in too tight. So, just a little loopy loop. And from there, okay, now we have our two knots, and it's kinda of like a hammock. So you're gonna just go ahead and put your hands through it, throw it over your shoulders, and would you look at that? OMG, love this. When I'm transitioning from the beach or the pool to uh, going to either a beachside restaurant or my own patio to grab a hamburger or hot dog. Speaking of hamburgers and hot dogs, I guess that's a perfect segue. Um, so, so stinking cute. Just a little bit warm if it gets a little chilly wherever you are. So our sixth and seventh way to tie your sarong are I would say they're brothers because you can do one from the other. So we're still gonna go with our sarong in half, hamburger way again, so uh, folded. So you're gonna take your folded edge again and your raw corner, and you are going to tie that once again in a double knot. You wanna keep a ton of space in that loop, just like the previous one. So we'll get that tied off. Okay, now we have this loop. You have your raw edges here, and you're gonna open those up, and you have Hello, hello. 
two different sides and you're gonna just go ahead and flip that over, slide your fingers right through each side and you've created this amazing long kimono. Oh my gosh, I am still so blown away by this trick. I wish I knew it 12 years ago when I got this sarong. But anyway, look how stinking cute. So you have it tied around the neck like so, and then it's long and billowy. You could put a belt here if you wanted to. Oh my gosh, that would be so stinking adorable. Um, but the way I like to um, elevate this particular style is like I said earlier, you don't need corners to be able to make knots with your sarong. So I'm gonna step back so you can see. So I've pulled the edges of this and I'm going to, I want this to be a little bit further in for coverage. I'm gonna take these corners and Hopefully my fingers are nimble and warmed up for this exercise. So I've tied it once so it looks kind of like a wrap front. And I'm gonna do one more time. I'm gonna hope it sticks, so say a little prayer for me. Okay, we got it. And then, as with every sarong look, you just need to tuck everything in. But holy moly, look how fabulous that is. And again, if you have your bathing suit on under this, Look at this, you don't need to worry about anything falling out, popping out, anyone getting a peek. It's fully covered and comfortable and it's not going anywhere. It's completely secure. And when the wind blows, you might get that really fantastic Beyonce moment, but you really don't have to worry about it here. So that is the seventh and final way to tie your sarong. So there you have it, seven ways to tie a sarong this summer. Which one of these is your favorite? Which one of these do you plan to try next? And did I miss any? Please let me know in the comments below if there are other ways to wear your sarong that are your go-to so that I can pass it along to all of our fabulous readers. Again, this is Jessie from Through This Together and check us out on our blog and subscribe to the channel.